With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let's start the question. The question says that an organic compound XC5H8O reacts with hydroxyl amine to form a compound Y. In the presence of concentrated H2SO4, it gives delta lactam. X neither gives Benedict test nor it responds positively towards hello from test. The compound X is. So here out of the following option, we have to find out what is this compound X. Right. So let me firstly write down the structure. It is given to us C5H8O. So this is your compound X with its molecular formula. Right. Now firstly this compound it reacts with hydroxyl amine. So let's write down what is hydroxyl amine. Hydroxyl amine is NH2OH right and forms a compound Y. Now this compound Y right in presence of conch H2SO4 right in the presence of conch H2SO4 it forms a lactam. Now what is lactam? Lactam is basically a ring right a ring containing CONH bond right let me draw it again for more clarity. What is a lactam? Here I am representing the ring by a circle only because we don't know right now what is the structure of that ring is so let it be delta lactam which is given to us right and uh, what else is there that it neither gives benedict test nor it responds towards hello form test now what does it mean now it does not give benedict test benedict test is used for finding out uh, ketones that are freely present in the given compound so if it does not give benedict test so it means what that there is no free CO group present right free CO or CHO group is present. Next thing which is given to us is that it also does not react to hello form test that it does not give hello form test. Now hello form test is which test now basically whenever a ketone or an aldehyde specifically methyl ketone let me write down methyl ketone. What are methyl ketone? Methyl ketone are those which have this linkage CH3CO. So these methyl ketone when react with a halo form like Cl2, Br2 or I2 they form halo form. But this compound here does not give halo form test. So this is basic flow chart here which is given to us via this question and we will proceed in the similar manner. Now out of the following options if you see now this cannot be compound 2 right why because if you look carefully this compound here have a ketone but uh, if we mark the positions we have only alpha and beta position right and whereas this compound it forms what it forms a delta lactam so we know that alpha beta gamma and then comes the fourth position to the main functional group is your delta position so it cannot be the second option now if you look at first option we have alpha position, beta position, gamma position and we also have a delta position. So this can be a possibility here but if you look we have how many carbons here? We have 5 carbon here and this compound has how many? 6 carbon. So that means this option is also incorrect. Now we are left with a two options right? What are these two options? Firstly we have this 5 membered cyclopentenone right this is a ketone here or we have another option which is cyclobutanone right this is your cyclobutanone and it also have a substitution here of a methyl group now you have two possibilities it could either be this third one or it could either be this fourth one but if you look it is given to us that this does not give hello form test and hello form test is given by methyl ketones having ch3co linkage so here if you look the CH3 right it has a CO linkage here so this means that fourth option is also incorrect that means we are only left with the third option which is of cyclopentenone. So this cyclopentenone is the correct option out of the following right. So let's uh, draw the reaction here let me draw it again. So you have cyclopentenone 
right when it will react with hydroxyl amine which is nothing but NH2OH then it will form oxime what is oxime oxime here is your double bond NOH so this oxime will be formed here right and after this what will happen because of the reaction with concentrated H2SO4 here right it will form a lactam now what is lactam as i mentioned earlier also a lactam has a CONH linkage right so there is this CONH linkage so this is your delta lactam this is alpha position beta position gamma position right this is your let me mark with some other color alpha beta gamma and this is your delta position so this is your delta lactam being formed here so this shows that option number 3 here is your correct answer out of the following thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today